Hey everyone, Alexi at Service and Sync here. I'm going to go over packages and how to add and configure them for your business. And I'll do some example packages so you can see the different types and how to set them up. These can be anything very basic and simple like flat rate or hourly rate packages and can be more complex auto quoting packages. And auto quoting packages are basically an AI you train to do the quotes and estimates for you. To add a package, start by clicking the green add a package or service button. This will open up an add package form where you can enter your package details. The first package I'm going to add is one of the most basic package setups, and this will be fixed duration, fixed price package. This is a great setup for packages that are universal, or services that always take the same amount of time and cost the same amount. The package title is the title that the package will display throughout the platform. If this is a package customers will be able to book themselves, they will see this package title. For this package, I'll title Air Conditioning Tune-Up. The duration type can be fixed or auto quarter formula, and I'll go into auto quarter formulas later on in the video. For now, I'll set this to fixed. Fixed means that there's a predefined duration for the package. There are two different types of fixed durations, one where the user can define how many hours or minutes they want, and the other where there's a preset amount of time that has already been defined for this package and it cannot be changed. The duration in minutes field is where you set the fixed duration. If you leave this blank, the user will be able to define their own duration. If you leave this as a numerical minutes value, then this will always be the duration for this package type. For the air conditioning tune-up, I set a fixed duration of 90 minutes. Air conditioning tune-ups always take me 90 minutes, so that's what I'm going to set here. Pricing type is how the package is priced out. We have three options here, fixed, rate, and auto quarter formula. Again, I'll go into auto quarter formulas later on in the video, but for now I'll explain fixed and rate. Fixed is a preset price for the package. If you are charging an hourly rate, then you can choose rate and enter in the hourly rate you will charge for this package. For our air conditioning tune-up package, we will charge a fixed price, so we will choose fixed pricing type. The price flat rate field is where we set the fixed price. If you leave this blank, the user will be able to define their own price, so make sure it's never blank for a package that is visible to customers, or customers will set their own prices. So for our air conditioning tune-up package, we will enter how much we charge for this service. For our example, we'll say we charge a flat rate of $69.99 for each one. Now we get to the visible to customers option. And this sets if customers will see the package and if they can sign up for this package on their own. We do want this package available to customers to book themselves, so we will set this to yes. Now that I've set this package as visible to customers, I must enter a description for it. This will be visible to the customers when they are browsing your packages and also on your web portal. For my air conditioning tune-up package, I'll enter a quick description. Save money on your energy bill and improve the life of your air conditioner by keeping it maintained and running optimally. Our air conditioning tune-up package is designed to save you money in the long run. And ideally you would write something a bit longer with a few more details, but for now we'll just continue with what we have. Minimum required teams allow you to specify how many teams are required to do this package type. If you have staff on their own teams and only one staff account per team, but this package type requires two or three staff, then you can set two or three here. Otherwise you can leave this as one if your teams have multiple people on them, or if you only need one staff for this type of package. For our air conditioning package, we will leave this as one as we have each staff on their own team and only need one of our staff going out to do this type of service. Allow recurring if set to no will not allow customers to sign up for this package on a recurring basis. This is great for initial consultations or one-time estimate visits. Otherwise, if you want customers to be able to set up recurring schedule for this package type, then simply set this to yes. For our air conditioning tune-up package, I'll set this to yes to allow recurrings because my customers might want this to recur every year or even twice a year. And then I'll click the blue save button to save my package. Now let's add an hourly rate package where the customer can specify how many hours they want at a specific hourly rate. A great setup for someone who charges an hourly rate for work regardless of the type of work and wants people to simply specify how long they want to hire. Something like an in-home massage service. I'll go ahead and click the green add a package or service button again. For the package title, I'll put deep tissue massage. For the duration, I'll put fixed and the duration in minutes field I'll leave blank because I want the customer to specify their chosen duration themselves. For the pricing type, I'll choose rate 
because I'll charge an hourly rate. And I charge $99 per hour for the deep tissue massage, so I'll put $99 into the price, price per hour field. I do want customers to be able to book themselves, so I'll put visible to customer as yes. For the description to customer, I'll put a quick description, something like, a deep tissue massage is a great way to help with chronic aches and pain, stiff neck, upper back pain, lower back pain, leg muscle tightness, and sore shoulders. Ideally, you would have a bit of a longer description, but this is fine for our example. Minimum required teams I'll leave as one, because I have one staff per team and only one staff is required to do this appointment. For allow recurring, I'll put yes. I want my customers to be able to book this as often as they want for repeat business. And I'll click the blue save button again to save this package. And that's pretty much it for basic packages. For more complex packages, we need to set up an auto quarter formula. These are formulas created by our AI that you train, which will define the appointment's duration or the appointment's price based on specific extra address input values for each customer's address. If you haven't added any extra address inputs yet, you should do that by going to the Settings, Extra Address Input section of the main sidebar menu. Click the green Add an Address Input button, which will open an Address Input Add Form. There's a help video and documentation there to guide you through that process. So now that you have all the important extra address inputs that will dictate the duration and price of the appointment, let's go through and create some formulas. On the Package and Pricing page, scroll down to the second table called Auto Quarter Formulas and click the green Add Formula button. This will redirect you to the Quote Formula Creation page. Choose a formula name, and I recommend including what the formula is calculating in that. For our first example, we'll enter a lawn mowing duration. For variables, we enter what we will use to determine how long it will take for us to mow the lawn. We will choose a few of our extra address variables, specifically lawn square footage and how many dogs live on the property. These are important to decide how long it will take to mow the lawn at the property. The lawn square footage is important because the bigger the lawn, the longer it will take. But how many dogs live on the property is also important because I find I have to go a little slower and sometimes stop to remove a dog toy from the lawn. Minimum answer is the absolute smallest answer this formula can give us. Since this is duration, the answer will be in minutes. And if the customer has a 100 square foot lawn, I don't want them to be priced out for a few dollars, so I'll put 30 minutes as the absolute minimum this formula should give us. For maximum, I'll leave blank, meaning no maximum. It is important to note that if the duration ends up being more than your business hours allow in a day, the job will be split up among multiple teams, and the price will remain the same, but the duration will be split up. So for example, if I have 8 hour days, and the estimated duration is 12 hours, it will assign two teams to the appointment for six hours because the system already knows it's not possible to complete the appointment for a single person in one go. But we will still charge the same amount as if it was 12 hour appointment. Round to nearest can be used if you want the duration to round to the nearest 15 minute or 30 minutes. You can enter any value here though, and this will ensure that the durations are not weird numbers like 47 minute appointments, but instead clean 15 minute chunks like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75 minutes, and etc. And once these settings look correct, I'll hit the blue submit button to create the formula. This will bring up a page with an auto quarter training table. This is where we teach the AI the formula. Let's start with our first training point. The key to entering the correct training data is to enter as many minimum and maximum price points for each variable, giving the AI enough information to quote itself. So to add our first training point, we will click the purple plus icon at the bottom of the table. This will pop up a form where we enter our extra address input values and the answer. Since this will be used for duration, the answer will be how many minutes. To start, let's start on the low end of the durations. I'll put in lawn square footage of 1200. For how many dogs live on the property, I'll put it at zero. And for answer, I'll put in 60. So 60 minutes to do a 1200 square foot lawn with no dogs on the property. Now click submit to save the training data. And now let's teach the AI what happens when there are dogs. So let's do another example, but with some dogs this time. So the AI can see how the dogs affect the formula. So we'll repeat, click the purple plus icon to add a new training point to the formula. For lawn square footage, we'll put in 1200 again. And for how many dogs live on the property, this time we'll put in five. For Ansel, we'll enter 75. That means the 1200 square foot and five dogs will take us 75 minutes, an extra 15 minutes for five dogs. Now let's put some high-end square footage points into the formula. Click the purple plus to add another training point. And this time, let's say 12,000 square feet and no dogs will be 240 minutes. Click the submit button to save the training point. 
And now let's add a high square footage training point with dogs. Click the purple plus again, and let's add 12,000 square feet again, but five dogs this time. And you see the AI has already made a guess. It thinks that things will take 255 minutes, 15 minutes extra for five dogs. But in reality, we need to tell the AI that cleaning up toys for five dogs on a 12,000 square foot yard takes much longer than a 1,200 square foot yard. So the answer of 255 needs to be corrected to, let's say, 300. So delete the 255 that was pre-filled in the answer and put in 300 instead and click the blue submit button. Now to make sure the AI understands, we'll add one more point for good measure. Let's repeat and click the purple plus. Add 12,000 square feet, 9 dogs, and put the answer at 350 minutes. Click submit and we're good. Our AI will now properly estimate duration with any amount of dogs and any amount of square feet. You can keep adding points here to fine tune the formula until it's exactly as you like. The more points you add, the more accurate the formula will be, so repeat until you are satisfied with the answer it is auto-filling. If you need, you can modify existing points by clicking the pencil icon next to the points training row. Now that we're happy with our duration formula, let's create the package that uses it. Go back to the packages and pricing section of the platform. Click the add package or service button. We'll set this package title to lawn mowing. For duration type, we'll choose auto quarter formula, and for the duration formula, we'll choose the formula we just created called lawn mowing duration. For pricing type, we'll choose rate, because our price is an hourly rate based on the duration, and for lawn mowing, we charge $35 per hour, so we'll enter 35 here. Visible to customers, we'll set to yes, because we want customers to be able to book their own lawn mowing services. For description to customers, we'll enter a description about our lawn mowing service. Make your neighbors jealous with the best lawn mowing service in the city. Your lawn will be the envy of the neighborhood. Minimum required teams will leave as one. It's a one person job. And for allow recurring, we'll set it to yes, so customers can schedule bi-weekly or weekly mowing services. Now click save. You now have a package that uses the AI auto quarter to properly estimate duration. Now let's do one more, a more complex package that uses the auto quarter formulas for both price and duration. A type of package you might want to use formulas for both price and duration is a lawn maintenance package, where the duration of the appointment doesn't necessarily dictate the price of the appointment. Maybe there's a really expensive chemical you have to use to treat trees on the property, so it may take a short amount of time to treat the trees, but will cost a lot for the chemicals, so the customer will need to pay more. Let's create some new formulas. This time, we'll need to make two, but let's start with price. Click the green Add Formula button. The formula name will enter Lawn Maintenance Price. For variables, we'll select Lawn Square Footage, how many trees on the property, and how many dogs live on the property. All three of those will dictate our price. For Minimum Answer, we'll enter the minimum price we're willing to work. For this, we'll put 120 for $120. There is no maximum price, so we'll leave that blank again. And for round to nearest, we'll set this to 1. Round to the nearest dollar, so we don't have odd cents on the pricing. Now we'll click Submit to create the formula. Let's create our training points. So click the purple plus, and we'll define the first point as 1,200 square feet, 0 trees, 0 dogs, $150. We'll add another point, 1,200 square feet, 0 trees, five dogs, $170. And let's keep adding points. The next one will be 1,200 square feet, five trees, zero dogs, $290. The next point will be 12,000 square feet, zero trees, zero dogs, $310. Keep adding a few more points to get the pricing how we want. 12,000 square feet, five trees, zero dogs, $510. And finally, the last point, 12,000 square feet, zero trees, five dogs, $390. We can now test our formula by adding a few sample numbers for the inputs and see what the answer is. If any answers are incorrect, you can correct them by adjusting the answer and submitting it. So now our pricing formula is accurate. Let's go back and make our duration formula. Go back to the Packages and Pricing section. You should see the Lawn Maintenance Price Formula in the list of formulas. But we need to make a duration formula now, so let's click Add Formula again. We'll name this formula Lawn Maintenance Duration. For variables, we'll choose only lawn square footage and how many trees are on the property. 
We'll say for this example the dogs don't slow us down at all, so the amount of dogs will not affect the duration required to complete the service. Minimum answer is 45. This will take us at absolute minimum for any size lot 45 minutes. Maximum will leave blank, no maximum defined. And round to nearest will set to 5, so our duration will also be rounded to the nearest 5 minute chunk. Now we'll click submit to create the formula. Now we need to train our formula for duration. This will work exactly like we did in the lawn mowing duration, so add your training points. The answer should be in minutes, and add as many as you need for lawn square footage and how many trees on the property. Remember, add low and high values so the AI can understand the formula better. Once the formula is outputting the answer in minutes how it should, go back to the package and pricing section and let's create the final package. Click the green add package or service button once again. And we'll title this package lawn maintenance. Duration type is auto quarter formula. And the duration formula is lawn maintenance duration. Pricing type is also auto quarter formula. Price formula is lawn maintenance price. For visible to customers, we'll select yes, so customers can book it themselves. Description to customers, will enter a quick description. Our lawn maintenance package combines several important tasks with the goal of maintaining your lawn's health and appearance, including shrub and tree maintenance along with lawn maintenance, and recommended at a minimum once every two months to maintain optimal lawn health and appearance. For minimum required teams, we'll leave this as one. It's a one team job. And for allow recurring, we'll set to yes, so customers can schedule this on a recurring basis themselves. And we'll click save. Congratulations, you now know how to create both simple and complex packages, which will help you convert leads faster by allowing customers to book simple and complex appointments instantly that are priced accurately and scheduled accurately. Keep in mind that staff will also use these packages along with any packages that are not visible to customers to add appointments to the schedule. If you have any questions or need more help, feel free to open a live chat with us on the bottom right of the Service and Sync page. Or give us a call at the phone number at the top right of the Service and Sync page and we'll be glad to walk you through it or answer any questions you may have.